Good evening, family. Your welding coach checking in, Black Phoenix. And today we're going to work on an overhead flux core practice test. So the goal of me doing these is to give the student an ideal of what he's actually going to be working into, what he's going to run against. And by me teaching them, I want them to be confident in knowing that everything that I'm trying to teach them, I can do myself. So it's always very valuable when you're teaching someone to, for them to know that all the instructions and things not to do, you can do it. So it's one thing to be an instructor that say, hey, I want this to be perfect. I want to look like this. I want this and this. But you never come in and actually perform the well for yourself. So that's what I want to do. I want to be hands-on. I'm very hands-on when I'm teaching. So my goal is to come in and let them know it can be done in a reasonable time. We just have to keep practicing and get our skill sets up. So that's the main thing. So we're going to jump into this flux core. I'm actually welding with some 7525 gas. I got this Millermatic 255. It got some presetters on it. So I got it preset to 22.9 and 26.3. And we're going to jump into it. And uh, hopefully everything will go pretty well. My goal is I'm going to probably run some a, a few weaves and then leave this last stringer bead, last two stringer beads as my cap is my, is my goal for the sake of time because we don't have a whole lot of time right now. Salute, salute, thanks for checking in. And uh, my goal is, it's like I say, make this simple. And just so y'all know, fam, I'm going live on TikTok and also on YouTube. So I appreciate everybody for checking me out. Those on YouTube, go check out the TikTok, your welding coach. And TikTok, you go check out YouTube, your welding <laughs> coach. Subscribe, like the channel, and hey, keep following me, fam. Our goal is to help the community and help those that really want it, fam. And the best way to help our people is to lead by example. So I'm gonna dive in, and I'm gonna show y'all how it's done, man. I'm gonna we're gonna give you updates on the root and everything. So I'm gonna step in, and we're gonna start with the root. I did a couple practice runs, to make sure that the welder was set like I wanted it. So now I can be able to do my thing. You ready? Give me just a second. All right, fam. The main thing you want to do when you're doing your root is to make sure you tie it in to both sides. It's very critical. So take your time, make sure you tie it in. Get as comfortable as you possibly can. That's very important. And I would just say as a rule of thumb, always try to start on your runoff tab and, and end on your runoff tab. I'm going to say that's important because <clears throat> if you tend to stop in the middle of it with this flux, you can fix it, but you want to kind of save yourself a lot of headaches. So it's better to just <clears throat> run it all the way out. So the root laid in pretty good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean it up so that way you can see it. We're going to bring both cameras close so y'all can see it, but we're going to clean it real quick and then let you check it out. Normally with the flux core, normally with the flux, normally with the flux core, you can uh, run pretty quick. And the slag will fall off pretty good as long as you hesitate. If you don't go real fast and you take your time, it should go pretty smooth for you. So with this one, like I said, I'm not even gonna use no power tools. I'm just gonna use the wire brush and the chipper hammer because if you run it right, you won't have any issues. So now I'm about to cap, I mean about to weave and do my hot pass. Let's bring it in real quick. I'm gonna hold up, I'm gonna bring it in. Family, we got a couple things going on. Salute, salute. Thanks everybody for checking in. Just want to say I appreciate it, man. Y'all stay, stay live with us, fam. It won't take us that long to knock this out. 
Had to get a shout out to the TikTok family. Now we finna dive back in this fam. Y'all ready? Remember, you want to maintain your travel speed. It's very important. Because if you go too slow with the wire, you can fill it up too much. So that's the only thing to remember with the wire. If you go too slow, you will put too much metal into the plate. So just keep that in mind. I like to let the plate cool down before we um, knock the slag off, at least let the slag turn back, back black. <laughs> now I had a few people ask me about the gas. Um, I would say I'm rocking about 25 pounds. So anywhere from 20 to 30 pounds, I think it'd be great. I think you'd be good. See the cool thing about this is barely on there, fam. So you can clean it good. Clean it, let y'all check it out. It's my hot pass. Bring y'all in so y'all can check it out. See what's going on here. Hopefully you can see it. Hopefully y'all can see that. So now fam. Yo, yo, thanks for checking in. Yes, sir, I am. Yes, sir, I am. Um, we're trying to kill seven birds with one stone. This phone was actually still on the charge. I'm sorry about that. So I had to. <laughs> I got him holding one camera, and then I'm trying to show y'all and do this at the same time. Now, I'm at the stage now where I should have two passes. I should have two, uh, two stringer caps to knock this out. This process isn't bad especially when you're using a 3 8 plate this is a 3 8 scrap coupon plate 3 8 is not a whole lot it's easy to fill up so it don't take a whole lot with this 3 8 using this flux board so now we're gonna run our first cap Keep in mind too, when you're running your cap, you just want to run it kind of quick. You don't want to spend a whole lot of time on your cap with this flux score because if you do, you can you, de you can deposit too much metal, way too much metal. And as you deposit that metal, you will notice that man, you just set yourself up for failure because now if you're not allowed to use the grinder, you can't knock it down some to make it look smooth. So we're gonna let it cool for a quick second. See it. Now I'm gonna bring for y'all because so y'all can see it. This time I'm gonna take it off the stand. So give me a second, it might be jumped a little bit. You know, we're trying to keep salad birds one stone. We're gonna we're gonna get it on though. Hopefully y'all can see that. And I'm gonna put a little light on it. Oh. 
As you see, I can tie it in the sides, no undercut, it's smooth, and now all I gotta do is drop that over here, and we should be good to go for that. Now, this is the last part. I am dragging it. Somebody says it's meant to be dragged. I am dragging it. It's just the, the angle that I'm using. Yeah. Angle is everything in just a second. Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. Always pay attention to that side. Make sure you tie it in good. Make sure you tie it in good and keep it that same speed. And there we go, fam. Want to let it cool for a second. But as of now, this process is basically done. I'm just going to clean it up. And, you know, if I had to go on and start cutting the coupons, that would be the next stage for this. But as you see, it don't take a whole lot. You want the wells to be either flush or about no more than an eighth inch off the plate. Now, I'm going to take this plate down once I get finished so that way you can really see it. But... We're just leaving it up right now for the sake so you can see it. And the cool and tied in pretty good. Now I'm gonna take it down so we can actually look at it. Now you can get a better look now. What up fam, what up fam? Thanks for checking in. Yeah, Carl, I'm finna see if I can flip this. It don't look like I can. I'm gonna have to do it this way. That way you can see it. Like I say, it's very simple. Process is very simple. Easy to knock out. And it's done. Plus four welding is a lot different than just regular mean welding and stick welding. So when you stick welding, normally the process takes a lot longer because you're throwing down rods, you're picking up rods, um, you, uh, you're tying in. But one thing this process does that I like about it, it eliminates the tie-ins except for when you got to stop. You go on to lunch or you finish a little spot or something came up or you got to, you know, if you ain't run out of gas to clean out no, you know, clean out no trash or clean out no uh, porosity that might get in if you lose your gas or if you're not staying close enough to the plate allowing the gas to seal the well, you can get some porosity. So I just wanted to say, it don't take that long. Y'all been with me through, since we did this. I wasn't here. All day, you know what I mean? You don't have to take all day. Uh, no more than 15 minutes, in my personal opinion, 20 minutes, you know, you should be done. So just wanted to appreciate y'all for checking in with me, man. Y'all be blessed. And I had a couple people ask me about the gift. How to get the hog on with me, fam. All you gotta do is go to Amazon.com, put in hog on welding. T-shirts, hoodies, all of it's gonna pop up. Hoodies, T-shirts, sweaters, all that good stuff. Y'all can get your hog on with me and tag me and let me know you're hogging. Y'all be blessed and we out, fam.